welcome to english class today we are going to start one new grammar topic and the topic name is synthesis so at first we will define it what is the meaning of synthesis so synthesis means what combination of a number of sentences into one new sentence it may be what simple it may be compound or it may be complex now let's try the definition what is combination the combination of a number of sentences into one new sentence the new sentence simple compound or complex is known as is known as synthesis nothing but combination of a number of sentences into one new sentence and the sentence may be what simple the new sentence may be what compound and the new sentence may be also after combination a complex sentence so basically we have to study here three kind of sentence what the simple sentence compound sentence and the complex sentence so this was the definition now come to the simple sentence simple sentence in order to understand simple sentence you need to know how many finite verb it contains so simple sentence a sentence that contains one finite verb is known as simple sentence a sentence a sentence that contains one finite verb one finite verb is known as simple sentence along with subject and predicate along with subject and predicate you can see here the sun rises in the east got it example of simple sentences now come to the compound sentences compound sentences sentences So here is what compound sentence contains two principal clauses. It means here a sentence is said to be a compound sentence when the sentence contains two principal clauses. If the sentence has two principal clauses, then we can say that sentence as a compound sentence. Now the question is, what is the meaning of clause? So you know what is the meaning of clause? 
Nose is what? It is group of words. Group of words that forms part of sentence. Part of sentence. It means here what? Clause is nothing but group of words. But it is not equivalent to the sentence. It forms only part of sentence. My dear student, there are so many people who think that sentence and clause are equal. But it is not true thing. It is not correct. They are wrong. Because clause only makes the part of sentence. Okay. Now in order to understand the synthesis of the compound sentence, we need to understand about the clause and its type. Because the definition says that a sentence which contains two principal clauses is known as what compound sentence. So in order to understand this compound sentence, we need to understand what the different kinds of clause. So basically we have to study two different kinds of clause. The first one is what principal clause? Principal clause. Principal clause. You know very well the importance of principal everywhere. Okay? Clause. So here is also very much important. The principal clause first one and the second one is what? Subordinate clause. Subordinate clause. Okay. So principal clause at first we will understand. This principal clause is also known as what? Main clause. Or we can say also independent clause. So we can define it. It is an independent clause. Independent clause. That does not depend on other clause for its name. So the name itself says that this principal clause is independent clause. That means it doesn't depend on any other clause for its meaning. To give the meaning of the sentence, it does not depend on any other clause. That is why it is known as principal clause. I will give you an example also. Let me define the another one. Subordinate clause. You know, subordinate clause is also known as what dependent clause. So you can easily understand what would be the definition of what would be the definition of subordinate clause. Subordinate clause is known as what dependent clause because to give its meaning, it depends on other clause. That is why it is known as what subordinate clause or dependent clause. You can better understand it. But I will give you such an example in which I will show you both the clauses. Okay? Let me write down the example. This is the fan. This is the fan that I saw yesterday. This is the book that I purchased or bought yesterday. This is the fan that I saw yesterday. In this example, you can see here both the clauses. How? This is the fan. Okay? The first part is this one. And that I saw yesterday. So this part and that part is sufficient to give its meaning. It does not depend on any other part. So it is able to give. It stands independently.
to give its meaning. It does not depend on any other part. It is sufficient to give its meaning. That is why it is example of what? Principal clause. Principal clause. Okay? And the second part. That I saw yesterday. It has meaning but it does not have complete meaning. Okay? In order to understand this part, the second part, we need to depend on the first part. Otherwise, it is incomplete. So, you can see here, the second part is totally dependent. Depend. It depends on the first part. And that is why it was what? Subordinate clause. Subordinate clause. So, just below it, you can write here. Yes? Subordinate clause. Okay? So, this was all about these things like subordinate clause and coordinate clause. Now, come to the complex sentence. Complex sentences. Principal clause Principal clause And at least And At least One subordinate clause. Subordinate clause. Now you can understand the importance of clause in this synthesis. So a sentence is said to be a complex sentence when it has at least one principal clause and at least one subordinate clause. Okay? 